After the successful launch of Starship Flight 4 earlier this month, Elon Musk announced that SpaceX is targeting the launch of Starship Flight 5 as soon as next month. This would set a record turnaround time for the world's most powerful rocket. According to the SpaceX chief, the highly anticipated and unprecedented event of catching a flying rocket booster will take place during this mission. He refers to the catching mechanism as the chopsticks, a massive pair of robotic arms attached to the launch tower. These chopsticks will serve dual functions, stacking and catching the Starship. Musk estimates a 50% chance of successfully catching the super heavy booster on this next flight. Achieving full and rapid reusability of rockets is crucial, especially for missions aimed at colonizing Mars, which is Elon's lifelong goal. Catching a returning booster represents one of the most challenging breakthroughs needed for that goal. There are other ground-based issues to address, such as replacing the hold-down clamps on the launch mount and repairing the ship QD arm on the tower after each launch. Despite these challenges, the Starship program is advancing rapidly. I am confident that within the next 12 months, SpaceX will demonstrate an orbit refilling of Starship, which is essential for missions to the Moon and Mars. NASA plans to land humans on the Moon again, using a Starship rocket within the next few years, facing competition, this time from China. While there is a geopolitical element to this race, the primary focus is on safety and sustainability. For NASA, establishing a 21st century moon base relies heavily on the success of Starship. For this, rigorous testing of the Starship system is necessary to safely launch the first humans. Since NASA will not allow SpaceX to use the current Starship tower in Florida during the testing phase, significant progress has already been made on constructing a second Starship tower at SpaceX's Starbase. When do you think the second tower will be ready for use? Let me know in the comments. This second tower is a significant move by SpaceX, as the next phase of testing will focus on catching both the booster and the Starship. Next month's attempt to catch the booster poses a risk of damaging the tower and other structures, but having multiple towers ready is crucial to avoid delays for the future of this program. Some might think catching the booster this soon is a wild idea, but SpaceX has an excellent track record of landing Falcon 9 boosters accurately. It's hard to recall the last time SpaceX missed a Falcon 9 booster landing. In addition to catching the booster, another major concern for SpaceX is the heat shield tiles on the Starship. Recently, the process of removing all 18,000 tiles on Starship S30 began. Elon Musk mentioned that Starship Flight 5 will use new heat shield tiles with an ablative layer beneath them. What are your thoughts on Starship Flight 5 and the Starship program in general? Share in the comments. Going across Florida, on Friday, SpaceX's attempt to launch the latest batch of Starlink satellites for the Starlink 10-2 mission was aborted seconds after engine ignition. Abort. Yeah, abort. SpaceX has not yet revealed the cause, but the launch has been delayed until a new date is scheduled. That's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in, and goodbye until the next one.